If you're walking in Hollywood Cemetery and see this tree stump, look closer. It's actually a grave marker. This is the Lloyd family tree stone plot. Each family member has a tree stump grave marker, except for Frank. Tree stump graves date from the 1880s to the 1920s, and typically the symbolism varies. Sometimes the stump indicates life cut short, or it could be a symbolic reference to the tree of life. Frank was the last of the six siblings to enter the family plot in 1943, so maybe that's why his stone is more traditional. Although his brother Thomas died two years earlier, and has a tree stump. I need answers. Have you ever played a game of checkers in a cemetery on a memorial stone? I visited Hollywood Cemetery in Richmond, Virginia in honor of Brian David Rucker, a gamer known to many online as Odd Job. My boyfriend and I decided to play and he kicked my butt. I visited many cemeteries with traditional graves, but Brian's memorial is one of the most unique I've seen. Blair Witch Project Cemetery, Burkittsville, Maryland. One of the most haunted cemeteries in America. Notice the dead grass in the shape of a coffin. The cemetery is known for its unusually high number of child graves. Would you pay it a visit? This is the true story of the unique grave of little Florence Ford. Florence was born here in Natchez, Mississippi in 1861. While growing up, Florence was terrified of thunderstorms to the point to where her mother Ellen would have to comfort her any time a storm came near. When she was 10 years old Florence tragically died from yellow fever. Her mother was extremely distraught and upon burying Florence, she requested a stairway to be constructed down to the level of Florence's buried casket. Ellen had a large glass window installed in order to see her daughter's final resting place. Alan would visit during thunderstorms and would sit with Florence, comforting her deceased daughter until the storm had passed. In the 1950s, the cemetery removed the glass and sealed the window to prevent vandalism. Alan eventually moved to Philadelphia with her husband, where she passed away at the age of 66. After her death, Ellen's body was transported back to Natchez, Mississippi. Ellen was buried in an unmarked grave on the right side of her beloved daughter. Don't worry, I won't spoil the ending. But if you love to read a good book in the cemetery, there's a monument in Trenton, New Jersey that is quite literally an open book. Repeat after me. Girl boss. Interred here is Eureka Bone, the first woman to receive a patent for a street sweeper, which is pretty amazing for a female in the late 1800s. Eureka's husband David died before her, and she honored him with a book monument. I'm only on page 235, but...
summer ends, it always leaves a mark So we can find our way back to the water But we take our time and lay out on the dock Like two cold-blooded souls in need of one Take everything that you want, you can have it And I brush the sand from my clothes No need to be ladylike Even forbidden fruit you can buy And every excuse you could possibly use For the way that the world says to be I'm thinking it's best if we lose that That only gives us our blues back Oh, oh, oh World's Most Interesting Gravestones, Part 9. This incredible grave honors Muhitin Selamet, located in Antalya, Turkey. As you can tell, he had a passion for art. He was born in 1943 and died in May of 2016. His passion for art came at a very young age, and in 1978 he opened his first exhibit in Istanbul. His works of art are based on the expression of hallucinations and on the complex subconscious data between dream and reality. He created works of art and was also honored with one. Hey everybody, okay, I was driving and as always I looked over and um, look what I found. The face seems to be gone, but inside of this shell here, take a look. This says Harrison, Mini Harrison Hoyt. Um, Born in 18 and 51 and died in 18 and 62. Um, I believe probably at some point she probably did have features. Um, and she's a young lady because you can tell because of the way that her shirt is done there. That would have been indicative of the dress of the day back then. Um, but how unique. Have you guys ever seen anything quite like this? I mean, it is very, very unique. Got a little bit of flowers on the back. So this is the Louisville, yep, the Elk Lodge, number eight, benevolent protectors of the Order of Elks, um, brotherly love. Here, and I'm gonna take you so that you can see the front of this elk, and he is huge. He's taller than I am. Of course, I'm a little short girl, but he is taller than I am. She so guys to be able to see him. Beautiful. And then down here you have all of the gentlemen who were elk members who were buried here, which is interesting to me that they're not buried with family, but um, they are buried here with them and that's awesome. All right, so it says six annual uh, national reunion. So I guess they erected this in 18 and 91, dedicated May 17th of 18 and 91. Um, but yeah, very cool.